Today we're answering three very important questions. Is the RTX 5070 the best value GPU? And what tops the Ryzen 7 9800X3D? Well, we're about to find out. Hi everybody, I'm Tanya from EVTech and let's talk tech. So here's the rig we're testing today. The EVTech Reeve ARGB mid tower case powered by an Antec 1001 SEBI modular PSU. Inside we've got the MSI X870 Gaming Plus Wi-Fi motherboard paired with AMD Ryzen 7 9800X3D and cooled by a deep core LD360 AIOU. For memory, there's 32 gigs of Kingston Fury DDR5 RAM plus a WD SN5000 one terabyte NVMe SSD. And of course, the highlight, NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 5070 Ti with 16 gigs of VRAM. So we landed on this GPU because it offers a strong middle ground for performance and features without breaking the bank too much. Think high-end 1440p performance with some headroom for 4K using DLS and ray tracing. To be clear, it's not on 4080 levels. It's more accurate to say the 5070 Ti sits just above the 4070 Ti Super, offering around 14% better cost per frame. And comparing it to consoles like, actually, let's not compare it to, to consoles because this blows up that out of the water. It's, yeah, let's just leave it like that. Now for this, the processor. So this is AMD Ryzen's 9800X3D coming in with improved 3DV cache. And right now currently sits as maybe the best CPU for gaming. And thanks to that huge 3DV cache, frame rates are smooth, latency is low, and it shines in CPU heavy titles. But is there anything better? Well, technically, yes. So the Ryzen 9 lineup or Intel Core i9's lineup does bring more cores and higher multi-threader performance, but that difference doesn't always translate into any noticeable changes for gamers. And then comes the argument of the cores. Having the same number of cores, does that also mean you get the same performance? Well, I think of it like this. Each core is an employee and each employee can lift about 50 kgs per cycle, but the newer ones can lift about 200 kgs per cycle. So you get the same number of employees, but just they can lift far much more. And that's what you get with this. Same number of cores, just a newer generation that can lift a lot more per cycle. So we've spoken about the combination for the CPU and the GPU, but here's another important question. Can they game? So we're gonna play one of the most graphically induced games, which is Black Myth Wukong, and we're gonna be doing it on this beautiful 2K MSI monitor right now. But let's see if it, if it pairs well with the 5780Ti and the 9800X 3D. This benchmark shows the system pushing over 300 frames per second at 1080p, which means in real games you easily crush competitive titles like Valorant or CS2 with plenty of headroom. Temps stayed cool and GPU usage was efficient, so performance stays stable even up to 4K. So there you have it, a combination of an AMD Ryzen 7 9800X3D and a 5070Ti is definitely one of the best mid-tier combos you can get. Honestly, it can game, it's future-proof for any upgrades that you might need, and on top of that, it's available here at EVTech where you dream it, we can build it.